Okay, so now we will see how to solve a two machine problem. This is the data given in processing time is given on each machine, machine A and machine B. So there are two machines, machine A and machine B, and there are six jobs, one, two, three, four, five, six. The sequence is first, a job will be processed on machine A and then it will go on machine B. The processing time that is given in hours. Okay. Now the step one of solution is to find the optimal job sequence. So we have to find a sequence that will minimize the total processing time of all the jobs. Okay, so what is the optimal sequence? The sequence which minimizes total time, total processing time of all the jobs. Now the rule of allocation is this. See, we have made six boxes here. Why six boxes? Because there are six jobs. Now, if you if the minimum time of any job is on machine A, then we give allocation from the left hand side. And if the minimum time is on machine B, then we give the allocation from right hand side. That is the rule of allocation. Okay, so now you compare all the times of the jobs. On machine A, minimum time is 2. On machine B, minimum time is 1. It means in the entire matrix or in the entire table, the minimum time is 1. Now that is job number 6. Now the time is on machine B, so allocation will be from right hand side. Okay, so job 6 we will write here from right hand side. Okay, I repeat. The minimum time was 1 and it is what or it is on machine B, so the allocation will be from right hand side. So you write here job number 6. So now job 6 is over. Okay. Now do not consider the time of job 6. Now compare again compare the remaining table. Now the minimum time is 2. That is job number 3. It is on machine number A. So it will come from left hand side. Okay, so job 3 will come from left hand side and you will write here job number 3. Now 3 is over. Now compare the remaining values 7, 3, 4, 8, 5, 6, 9, 4. So minimum is 3 on machine B. So from right hand side that is job number 1. So now again job number 1 will come from right hand side. So we will write here 1. Now 1 is over. Next 4, 8, 5, 6, 9, 4. Uh, now minimum time is 4. But now there are two fours. This is 4 and this is also 4. Okay, so now how to give the allocation? That is the rule of tie. So if there is a tie between the two jobs, compare the other time values. Now see, for here, job number 2, minimum time is 4 and the other value is 8. So for job 2, other value is 8. And for job number 5, 4 and 9, so other value is 9. So you take job number 2 because the minimum time is 8. 8 and 9, lower value is 8, so you select job number 2. Now job 2, minimum time is 4, it is on machine A, so it will go from left hand side. So you write here 2. Now 2 is over. Okay. Now 2 jobs remain, 4 and 5. 5, 6, 9, 4. So minimum value is 4. Job number 5, it is on machine B, so it will be from right hand side. So you write here job number 5 from right hand side. And now only one box is remaining, now job 5 is over. Only one box is remaining, that is job number 4. So you write here, job 4. Now our allocation is complete. So this was the last job that you can give directly. Okay, now all our allocations are complete. It means, now we know what is the optimal sequence. It means, now the job will be processed in this order. 3, 2, 4, 5, 1, 6. This will be the order of processing of the jobs. Second step of solution is now actual calculate time calculation. Elapsed time means how much time will elapse during the process. So now this is the optimal sequence. So we will write the optimal sequence here. So we start with job number 3, then 2, then 4, then 5, then 1, and then 6. Now the jobs will be processed in this order. Okay, now we start the actual calculation. First job is processed on machine A and then it goes on machine B. Okay, so now we start. In time of first job is always zero. So it starts at zero hours. Okay, and now we have to refer the processing time for individual jobs. Now job number three. Time is two and six. So here it requires two hours on machine A. So it will be zero plus two. Okay, I repeat job number three, machine A is two hours. So zero plus two is two. 
so it is out on two hours and this out time will become in time for machine number b okay so this becomes now two and for machine b how much is the time required six so two plus six so out time will be eight okay so we repeat the time for machine three was two and six so in time is zero zero plus two is two out time is two so in time on machine b is two and 2 plus 6 will be 8 okay so that is the job 3 is now over now next is job number 2 now machine a is free after 2 2 hours so this job can start at 2 hours okay now what are the timings of 2 4 and 8 okay so here it will be 2 plus 4 6 so now this job is out at 6 hours but in time cannot be 6 now for deciding the in time you have to compare this value with this value when is machine b free machine b is free after 8 hours so this job cannot go here after 6 it has to start at 8 hours so always compare this value and the preceding value and select the higher one so now in time is 8 and time required is also 8 so 8 plus 8 16 next is job number 4 Okay, so now three is over, two is over. Next is job number four. Job number four. Now machine is free after six hours, so in time will be six. And timings are five and six. So six plus five, eleven. Now again, it is out at eleven, but this machine is not free till sixteen. So eleven and sixteen higher value is sixteen. So now machine B in time is sixteen. And job four time is six. So 16 plus 6, 22. Out time will be 22. Next job 5. Machine is free at 11, so in time will be 11. Now 4 is over. Now job 5 timings are 9 and 4, so 11 plus 9, 20. Now 20 and 22, so machine is free at 22, so in time will be 22. And job five time here is four, so twenty two plus four, twenty six. Now job five is over. Next job one, machine is free at twenty, so in time twenty. And job one twenty seven, so seven and three, so twenty plus seven, twenty seven. Now machine is free at 26, but job is out at 27. So 27 and 26. So higher value is 27. So you cannot say 26. Now in time will be 27. Okay, always compare the values and take the higher value. Now time required is how much? Three. So 27 plus three, 30. So out time will be 30. And job one is over. Last job, job six. Machine is free at 27, so in time is 27. And job six timings are eight and one, so 27 plus eight, 35. See, machine is free at 30, but job is out at 35, so 35 and 30. Higher value, 35. So you write here 35, and the time is how much? One, so 35 plus one. 36 now all our jobs are completed at 36 hours now all jobs are done we have done the elastic calculation of all the jobs now we can write the final answers so the first answer so the first thing that we wanted to find was optimal sequence of jobs that we already done second we wanted to find what is the total elapsed time or total minimum elapsed time and that is equal to 36 hours then we also want to find what is the idle time of each machine idle means not working Now first, let us say machine A. Now see here. Now for this, you need to observe the 
continuity of time, if there is any break, if the continuity breaks, it means the machine is idle. See here, 0, 2, then 2, 6, 6, 11, 11, 20, 20, 27, 27, 35. So it means there is no break in between, it is continuous. But the entire process ends at 36 and machine A is free at 35. So it means from 35 to 36, for one hour it is idle. So for machine A, idle time is 35, 36 minus 35, that is 1 hour. This is idle time of machine A. Then machine B. See, machine B for the very first job, in time is 2 hours. It means for the first 2 hours, it is idle. So it means it is idle for 2 hours from 0 to 2. After that, check the continuity. 2, 8, 8, 16, 16, 22, 22, 26, and 27. Now continuity is breaking here from 26 to 27. It means for 1 hour, it is idle. So 27 minus 26. This is the idle time. Then 22, 26, 27, 30, 35. Again the continuity is breaking. So from 35 minus 30, it means for 5 hours it was idle. See, from 30 and 35, so there is a break of 5 hours. Okay, now you add this and you will get 2, 2 plus 1, 3 and 3 plus 5, 8. It means machine B was idle for 8 hours. Now our solution is complete. Okay, I repeat the steps. The data is given to you. What we have first found out is we have found out the optimal job sequence. What is the principle of finding optimal job sequence? If the time is minimum on machine A, you give allocation from left side. If the time is minimum on machine B, you give allocation from right side. Then you find the optimal sequence, prepare the elapsed time calculation table, put the optimal sequence here in the same order, do not change the order. And then as per the time values, go on doing the calculations and like see it starts with 0, then 0 plus 2 is 2, then out time is 2, then the next machine in time is 2, then 2 plus 6, out time is 8. Now here first job out 2 hours after 2 hours, so machine is free at 2 hours, so next job in time will become 2 hours and so on you do the calculation and in the end you will get the total elapsed time, that is your final value, total minimum elapsed time. And then you calculate the idle time of each machine. Wherever there is a break, that break in continuity will represent the idle time. Okay. So this way we calculate idle time for machine A and machine B. Okay. This is how we solve a two machine problem. Okay, thank you.